Hey guys, we're going to be setting up FTP remote settings so we can upload our website directly from Dreamweaver, only at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. Okay, here we are at the godaddy.com hosting control center and you need to set up an FTP username and password. If you use the username and password you set up when you originally set up your account, that will do just fine. So here we are back in Dreamweaver. Uh, what I need to do is set up the remote info uh, from the site definition dialog box. So I'm going to double click on my Dreamweaver tutorial site left click left click and it will bring up the site definition dialog box. Now I'm going to go into the advanced settings and select remote info and for the access I'm going to select FTP for file transfer protocol and I'm going to put in the host name which will be my website address so www.dreamweavetutorial.co.uk I'm going to leave the host directory blank and I'm going to put in the username and password that I set up for my FTP remote account at the GoDaddy hosting control center. Dreamweaver offers you the chance to test the connection so I'm going to do that and we can see that I've connected successfully, fantastic. So I'm going to click OK. OK, so I'm back on the main load up page for Dreamweaver. I'm going to scroll down until I find my index.html file and I'm going to double click on that and open it up and we're going to make a small change that we can then upload using the remote settings to make sure that the connection is working correctly. Okay, let's give ourselves a bit of room to work with. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. I have some text there that I'd like to amend and if we just zoom in now you can see it says full website coming in July. Well, we're already in July so I'm going to delete that now and then we're going to upload the page to the remote server. OK, I'm ready to save the file, so I'm going to go to File, Save. So once you've saved your file, you can then go over to the Files panel and select any file or files that you want to upload. I'm just going to upload the index file and I'm going to click on the arrow for Put Files. Now what that will do now is connect to the remote server now at this stage you might be asked by Dreamweaver if you want to put dependent files and that refers to images that you want to upload that go with that page. Um, as I've only made a text change I'm going to click no. Okay so once that's done we can now go over to a browser and I'm going to type in dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and let's see if the change has taken effect. Okay so let's zoom in OK, we can see that the text for the website being available in July is no longer there. That's fantastic. We'll go back into Dreamweaver. We'll make another change. I'm going to put a little bit of text in just under the tutorial's home link. So in design view, I've created the page break and I'm going to type in FTP tutorial coming soon. OK, so now I'm going to save the changes and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back over to the files panel. select my index.html page and we're going to go put files and no for dependent files again because I'm not uploading any images at all. Now if you are uploading your website for the very first time you are going to want to put dependent files. You are going to want to say yes to that. Okay so back into the web browser I'm going to click refresh to refresh the page and there we are. FTP tutorial coming soon. I'm going to show you one more way that we can upload our website using the FTP settings. So let's head back into Dreamweaver and I'm going to make one small little change. I'm going to put an exclamation mark just after FTP tutorial coming soon. So I'm going to save the changes by going to File Save and instead of going to the Files panel this time we're going to click on this button to expand and show local and remote sites. And what I'm going to do is click and drag my index.html file into the main route which has got a forward slash attached to it which is the default. 
So that's going to upload the web page in exactly the same way as the put files option in the files panel. OK, so that change should have taken effect now, so I'm going to go back into my browser. I'm going to click on the refresh button. OK, there you go. Once you add FTP remote settings to your website, it will make uploading that much easier.